Predict the score, 49ers fans. Big playoff game, less than 24 hours away. NFL, NFC divisional round, 49ers, Vikings. You can watch this on NBC. Harrison Graham filling in for Thomas Ma on the 49ers report. Predict the score. First correct score with the correct team will receive $25 via Venmo from us here at Chat Sports. Now, let's get into today's 49ers report. It was a foregone conclusion, but in classic NFL fashion, the 49ers waited until the last second, but they have activated Quan Alexander from injured reserve. We can all rejoice, 49ers fans. Of course, the news broke uh, last week or so that this was a possibility that he would be returning to practice. Now it is official. Quan Alexander active will play in tomorrow's playoff game against the Minnesota Vikings. Played in eight games earlier this season, missed the last eight games, 34 tackles and an interception on the season. Was a big part of this defense when it was really playing at peak level. Now you get him back, get back reinforcements. Will be interesting to see how much he plays. And on that front, here's the quote from Kyle Shanahan. We're not going to throw him out there just down in and down out, but we don't have a plan where it's only going to be, quote, this amount. So in other words, he's basically saying, wait and see, right? Like he's not saying, only going to give him 20 snaps, going to give him a full 60 snaps. I think they're going to fill this out, A, how he's feeling, and B, how is he playing compared to a guy like Dre Greenlaw, who has filled in and played extremely, extremely well throughout this season? These are the top three linebackers on the 49ers. Earlier in the year, it was Warner and Alexander. Greenlaw has been the man since Alexander stepped out. Kyle Shanahan and this coaching staff have to figure out, obviously with defensive coordinator Robert Sala, how to balance the snaps between Alexander and Greenlaw. The 49ers play a lot of nickel. We all know that, but it'll be fascinating to see how much Quan Alexander plays on Saturday. Question for you guys, predict how many tackles Quan Alexander will have against the Vikings. I'm gonna say five. I, I think he'll play a decent amount. I think four or five tackles, you get him in somewhat limited action. That's about all you can ask for after missing over two months. I'll say five tackles for Quan Alexander. Let me know you guys, what you guys think in the comments section. Davius Street is the corresponding move. He heads to IR, the defensive end for the 49ers 2018 draft pick, day three pick. He's been injured a lot. Missed all of last season on injured reserve with the torn ACL. Missed most of the first part of this season. His only three games of his career were their weeks 15 through 17. 49ers throw him on injured reserve to make room for Quan Alexander. Just four tackles on the year. Again, only played three games in two years in the NFL. Hopefully he has a bigger role in 2020, can get healthy and can be a part of this team moving forward. But obviously the big news of Quan Alexander's return is the focus here. More expanded look at the injury report for the 49ers. Obviously Quan Alexander, we just broke that down. It looks like he's gonna play. We'll wait and see how much he is gonna play, but he will be out there against the Vikings. Mike Pearson, the offensive lineman, he's gonna play as well. Been dealing with that neck problem. Whiskey Tart, he is playing as well with the ribs. And most of all, these guys are getting healthy against Street heading to IR. The last big question is D Ford. He is questionable. As you guys know, he's been dealing with the hamstring injury. And the 49ers, they've been talking like they want to be smarter with him this time. Felt like they rushed him back last time, came back for the one game, got re-aggravated re the hamstring. They don't want to bring him back A, too soon, and B, too much this time around because he is a big part of this defense. Shanahan saying trying to do this the right way with D. Ford. He's played in 11 games this year, six and a half sacks on only 14 tackles. So he is a pass rushing menace for this 49ers defense. Obviously, we all want Ford to come back and play every single snap, but you don't want to rush him out there, overplay him, and then he tweaks it again and he's out for the rest of the playoffs. I would expect a limited snap count. I think he'll play, but I don't think – I think it'll only be in pass rushing situations. Not a great run defender anyway. Producer Brett Scott found this crazy stat regarding uh, Nick Bosa and D4. Take a look at this. In 164 snaps this season, when Ford and Bosa are on the field together, they have 24 sacks. The other 801 snaps this year, when one or both is out, they also have 24 sacks. So – 
In other words, this pass rush is dominant when both are playing. When one or both guys is out, eh, kind of just another defensive line in the NFL. And that sounds obvious, but you wouldn't think it would be that big of a ratio. Then obviously the win-loss ratio as well, 10-1 and one when both guys play this year. 3-2 and two when one or both guys is out. So D. Ford's presence is a big factor on this defense. We'll see if he plays on Saturday. Guys, not too late to get the NFC West champ shirts. Obviously, we want more for the 49ers. But if you want this, the West is not enough shirt, chatsports.com slash NFC West. I think this shirt is still listed at $27.99. Tons of 49ers gear up to 30% off, including hoodies. You got other t-shirts, jerseys, hoodies, socks, shoes. We've got all kinds of deals for you guys. Chatsports.com slash 49 sale for all other gear outside of the NFC West t-shirt. Go take advantage of those deals up to 30% off today. Let's get more into this divisional round matchup. Vikings 49ers talked about the injury news heading into this game, but we break down the actual matchup itself. You can catch this game Saturday on NBC, 135 Pacific uh, time. First game of divisional round weekend. It's the Vikings and the 49ers in Santa Clara. Big game for the 49ers. A lot of these players inexperienced. Jimmy G's first start in the playoffs should be a fascinating one. Let's take a look at the Vikings injury report heading into this game. Now, both receivers on the injury report this week. Now, Stiggs isn't hurt. He's been dealing with an illness. He's going to play obviously, but keep that in mind there. Adam Thielen, he's been, I swear, he's been questionable all season long. He missed a bunch of games during the year. Obviously came out with the huge catch to set up the win against uh, the Saints in Wild Card Week, and he is questionable with an ankle. I fully expect him to play, but keep in mind, he left a few games early uh, in the game earlier this season. He has had a hamstring problem as well. So you've got Thielen on the injury report. J Javron Curse is not expected to play. J. Ron Curse, I mean, and McKenzie Alexander was placed on IR. So a couple of members of that secondary not factoring in for the Minnesota Vikings. Now, if you want to go bet on this game or any game during while or divisional or divisional round week in NFL playoffs, let's make it simple, Harrison. Chatsports.com slash bet. Bet DSI, Internet's number one sportsbook. Use our promo code. 49ers get that 120% deposit bonus. Thomas has been telling you guys all year long, bet on the 49ers. They're 13 and three. They would have made you a lot of money. Not too late. You can bet on this game. San Francisco, seven point favorites at home. Very low over under, in my opinion, 44. I might be leaning the under though. You'll get my official prediction later on in the show. But if you want to bet on this game, got to do it at BetDSI, chatsports.com slash bet. Use our promo code 49ers. Who you got? Let's hear it in the comment section. By the way, lots of Vikings fans uh, drowning out the comments during our uh, preview of this game earlier in the week on the channel. So uh, I guess shout out to you guys for showing up. But 49ers fans, let's drown them out. Let's let's show off, uh, show uh, which channel this is. This isn't the Vikings report. This is the 49ers report. Type Niner gang, if you got the 49ers. For you Vikings fans, type skull. There are, we found out there's some of you out there. 49ers, Vikings, who you got? Let us know in the comment section. I got Niner Gang again. I'll get my official score prediction later on in the show. More on the betting odds on this game. You Again, you can bet on all things related to this game, including prop bets, which we'll get to in just a moment, on BetDSI. Chatsports.com slash bet is where you get signed up today. 49ers, money line plus 323. For the Vikings, plus 257, 11 and 6 Vikings, 13 and 3, 49ers. Should be a fun matchup this Saturday between these two teams. Obviously, the Vikings upsetting. Let me fix that. The graphics team losing control there, of course. When I read that, I was like, that doesn't sound right. Money line minus 323, of course, for the 49ers. We apologize for that mistake. Obviously, fairly significant favorites here. Again, a touchdown favorite in this game. You look at the over-under. 26 and a half. These are the team over-unders, by the way. 26 and a half for the 49ers, 19 and a half for the Vikings. So bet to decide the folks in uh, you know, on all the betting sites think this is gonna be a lower scoring game, but about a touchdown game. And that feels about right, right? Because Jimmy G, first playoff start, Kirk Cousins, big game against the uh, Saints in the wild card round, but he's not a guy that people trust, especially in big games. So looking even more at these quarterbacks, you can bet on the the uh, passing yards for these guys, prop bets, Jimmy G, 251 and a half. I actually like the under there. 
Uh, Kirk Cousins, 231 and a half. I also like the under. I don't think Kirk Cousins is going to have a big game in this one. I think the 49ers pass rush will have a big factor. You can bet on all these bets at BetDSI. You can also bet on the rushing totals. Raheem Mostert, 52 and a half. Give me the over on that one. He's been running. He's ran hard the last month of the season. Dalvin Cook, this one was interesting. Producer Brett and I were debating this one. I like the over. Now, if you're the 49ers, you get, I think, the goal under 90 yards. I think 73 and a half is a little unrealistic for a top five running back in the NFL. So I will take the over on that. But if you keep it to under 90, you're doing a good job. You can bet on all of these and more bets at BetDSI, chatsports.com slash bet. That's more of a betting look at this matchup. Should be a fun game on Saturday. Question for you guys, how many yards is too many for Dalvin Cook? I just said 90. I think that's the number, right? You keep him under 90 yards, you're in good shape. Make Kirk Cousins beat you. That is the strategy if you are the San Francisco 49ers, period. You do not let Dalvin Cook beat you. You make Kirk Cousins and these receivers who are somewhat banged up, especially in Adam Thielen's case, beat you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now let's talk NFL draft scenarios for the 49ers, depending on the outcome of this game. If you win, if the 49ers win, they are locked into 20, pick 29 through 32, right? Because they'll be one of the final four teams remaining. And then we'll see where they end up based on the championship round and the Super Bowl, depending on how far the 49ers go. So that one's simple. Now, if they lose to the Vikings and the Ravens lose as well, they will get the t number 27 pick. If they lose and the Ravens win, our 49ers will end up with the number 28 pick. So different scenarios there. Again, if you win, it's going to be 29 through 32. And then those are the other scenarios if the 49ers were to lose against the Vikings on Saturday. What's the 49ers' biggest draft need? What do you guys think? Um, I still think you can get help at corner. I know Richard Sherman had a nice year, and that secondary played better, but he's an older player. I think you need to address that left tackle. Joe Staley is probably going to retire, so keep that in mind as well. What do you guys think the 49ers' biggest draft need is? Let me know in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe to the 49ers report. Hit that big red button. YouTube.com slash 49ers TV is the link if you want to send it to a friend. Be like, hey, these guys do great work on our San Francisco 49ers. Go ahead and send that link to a friend. But if you're watching right now, just hit the big red button. Approaching 13,000 subscribers. We launched, what, it was four months ago, Brett, right before the season. We had zero subs, almost at 13,000. Let's get to 15,000 by the Super Bowl when the 49ers are playing in there. Because that's what we all know is going to happen. Help us out. Hit that big red button. Subscribe to the 49ers report right now. Okay, prediction time. I told you guys I would have mine. There it is. I'm going 23-13. Again, hit that under at BetDSI. I like the under in this game. I think this is one of those ugly, grinded out type of performances. Jimmy G maybe comes out a little slow. They grind out the Vikings 23-13 to advance to the NFC title game. Our guy Tom Downey that you guys also see on the 49ers report from time to time, he's got the 49ers 27 to 17, more of a uh, also a 10 point win. Thomas Mott, the guy, you, the guy you are comfortable seeing. Y'all see him all the time. He's doing great stuff here on the 49ers report. He thinks it's a tighter game. He's going to go 27, 24, a little higher scoring. Me and Tom Downey are a little lower scoring, especially me. I'm going 23, 13. Those are our predictions here from Chat Sports here on the 49ers report. Let us know what you guys think. Predict the score again. First correct score with the proper team, of course gets $25 via Venmo from us at the 49ers report. Just comment below. Predict the score in the comment section. Let us know. Hopefully next time we talk to you, it's gearing up for the NFC Championship.